Hello, welcome to Sugar Hill TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Top 9 Companies Owned by Foreigners in Nigeria When we hear a company's name end with Nigeria or Nigeria Limited, we almost want to think it's a Nigerian owned, but that's just a marketing gimmick. It is no news that some of the largest companies in Nigeria are owned by foreigners. Most of these companies have contributed heavily to the country's economy. In this video, we'll be looking at top 9 companies owned by foreigners in Nigeria. Alright, let's go. Number 9. 7UP Botany Company This soft drink company has its headquarters in commercial capital of Nigeria, Lagos, with its branches all over the country. The company was founded by a Lebanon family, El Kali. They began operations in 1959 but had its first production on October 1st, 1960. It has factories in Kano, Kaduna, Enugu, Bini, and Ilorin. Firza Ekali became its managing director, and this firm currently markets 7UP, Merinda, Pepsi, Tim, and Mountain Dew. Number 8. Standard Chartered Bank The name Standard Chartered is from the two banks that merged in 1969. It acquired businesses, including a banking operation in Nigeria. Years after the merge, Standard Bank Nigeria was incorporated in Nigeria and it was free to take over its Nigerian businesses. In 1971, 13% of the bank's share capital was placed with Nigerian investors. But after the civil war, the military government, with the intentions of boosting the economy and encouraging Nigerian investors, increased the control of the retail banking sector, reducing the bank's investment in Standard Bank Nigeria to 38% and renaming it in 1979 as First Bank of Nigeria. But it remained a shareholder of First Bank of Nigeria until 1996. Standard Chartered re-entered the Nigerian banking sector in 1999 as a subsidiary of Standard Chartered Bank PLC, United Kingdom, with branches all over the country. This bank is said to be founded by James Wilson following the grant of a royal charter by Queen Victoria in 1854. Number 7. Stambic IBTC Bank It is known as Stambic IBTC Holdings. This name came to be after its merger in 2017 between Stambic Bank and IBTC Chartered Bank PLC. Before the merger, IBTC Investment Banking and Trust Company PLC was formed on February 2, 1989 as an investment bank with Atedu N.A. Peterside as CEO and Stambic Bank Nigeria Limited was founded in 1999 when Standard Bank Investment Corporation Stambic Bank acquired the African operations of Hans Greenleys Bank. It has branches all over Nigeria. Number 6. Etisalat Nigeria Telecommunication It is the brand name of Emirates Telecommunication Group Company. This company started on the 5th of October 1976 at Abu Dhabi, UAE and is currently operating in 17 countries across Asia and Africa, including Nigeria, and it has a customer base of more than 167 million across those countries. Etisalat entered into the Nigerian market through a strategic partnership with Mbadala Development Company, an investment firm owned by the government of the Emirates of Abu Dhabi. It has its commercial launch on the 28th of March 2008. Etisalat Nigeria, having had some issues in 2017, changed its name to Nine Mobile following the decision of Emirates Telecommunications Group's withdrawal of further involvement in the ownership of the Nigerian subsidiary. Number 5. Julius Vega Construction Company It is one of the biggest in the Nigerian construction sector. It came into Nigeria in 1965 when it won a contract to construct a 31.2 million naira second Milan bridge in Lagos. The project was not just a success but a first of its kind. While working on this project, it undertook other projects too in other parts of Nigeria like Municipal Water Works project in Jos, awarded by the then government of Benue Plateau State. The firm's successful completion of the Lagos Bridge made it to be considered for the repairs of the bridge over the Vanija, which had been damaged during the Civil War. Julius Vega, after then, undertook so many construction projects in Nigeria, especially in Lagos State. This company was incorporated locally in Nigeria after the Jos project in 1974, and it sold 40% of its shares to Lagos and Benue Plateau, and years after, sold 20% to the public. In late 70s and early 80s, it was involved in building Alaja and Ajakuta steel complexes and Abuja, the new federal capital of the country. It has branches in major cities of Nigeria. Julius Bega was founded in 1950 when Julius Bega, the founding father, met with K. Thomas and incorporated his company in Germany. Number 4. Nestle Nigeria PLC This food and beverage specialty company 
is a subsidiary of Nestle SA of Switzerland. Nestle was formed in 1905 by the merger of the Anglo-Swiss Milk Company, established in 1866 by brothers George and Charles Page, and finally Lacaste Henry Nestle, founded in 1866 by Henry Nestle. It began its business in Nigeria under the name Nestle Products Nigeria in 1969 and later it was changed to Food Specialties Limited. In 1991, the company changed its name again to Nestle Foods Nigeria and 10 years after, it became Nestle Nigeria PLC. This company started business in Nigeria by distributing and selling of its products, but high demand made it establish a packaging plant in Lagos. Their products like Milo, Celac, Maggi Cube are now household names. Number 3. Chevron Nigeria Limited Chevron history can be traced to 1879 when Pacific Coast Oil Co. was founded. It was bought in 1900 by the vast industrial empire of the Standard Oil Co. and Trust, which once controlled almost all oil production, processing, marketing and transportation in the United States. It is a subsidiary of Chevron and it holds a 40% interest in its concessions in the onshore and near onshore regions of Niger Delta in a joint venture with the NLPC. Its daily production in Nigeria is averaged at 207,000 barrels of crude oil, 223 million cubic feet of natural gas and 6,000 barrels of liquefied petroleum gas LPG. Chevron began doing business in Nigeria in 1913. In 1978, there was an indigenization decree. Chevron gave out 40% of its shares in Chevron Oil Nigeria to the public and retained 60%. Number 2. MTN It is the biggest player in the Nigerian telecommunication industry. MTN became the first GSM network to make a call in Nigeria following its launch in August 2001. It started in 1994 in South Africa with Sifiso Dambegua as its first CEO. It now provides services in 223 cities and towns and more than 10,000 villages and communities. It is no news that it is also one of the biggest telecommunication companies in Africa with Nigeria as its largest market. And number one on our list of top 9 companies owned by foreigners in Nigeria, Shell Nigeria. When it comes to the oil and gas industry, this is the first name that comes to mind. Shell was formed in 111 years ago by Marco Samuel in London and it began business in Nigeria in 1937 as Sheldaki and was granted an exploration license. It was this company that discovered the first commercial oil field at Oluibiri in the Niger Delta. It accounts for more than 21% of Nigeria's total petroleum production from more than 80 fields. Do you think these companies are living up to expectations in Nigeria? Let us know in the comment section. Please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.